This small amount of money is very important. It can help you save for your emergency fund. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if you would subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up button, drop me a comment and let me know what do you think of this video is it helpful? Is it a great idea? I'm very curious to know. And would you share this video because there may be someone that can use this content also. And would you click the notification bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. I wanna say thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to everyone and I hope everyone is doing well. And like I said, this small amount of money can be very important and it can help you towards saving for your emergency fund, which an emergency fund is very important and it's something that we need because emergencies, they do come. They can be avoided. And we want to be ready and we want to have something to tap into when they come. We don't wanna have to go beg and borrow you don't want to have to get a payday loan, title loan, personal loan. If we take small amounts of money, every time we get some money and put it away, it will add up over time. Trust me, it will. And sometimes someone may be in a position where they don't have an emergency fund. But like I said, if you take small amounts of money, every time we get some money, it will add up over time you may not be in a position to put away $500 every time you get paid or every time you get some money or $300 or maybe not even $100. But this right here is 10 $1 bills. Um, okay, I do seven savings challenge and today's savings challenge is savings challenge number one, which I do on Mondays. And it is working with 10 $1 bills. Let me count them and show you one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what I do is I add them to this, which I call my money bottle. This is a bottle I got from Walmart. It was about $13, $14. It was filled with water. And I bought it, brought it home, took the water, poured the water out, and I been stuffing it every week with ten one dollar bills. Okay? Now, when I started, this was empty. But look at it now. Look at it now. Now, and the goal is to save up a $1,000 emergency fund. And once it's completed or close to it, I'm gonna show you how you can get the money out without cutting it open. That way it is reusable. Okay? So, another thing that can help us save for an emergency is living on less than what we make, watch our spending, watch how much money is coming in and how much is going out, create a budget, stay out of credit card debt, like, you know, consumer credit card debt, you know, stay away from title loans, payday loans, personal loans, try your hardest to pay off a car payment if you have that, you know, pay that off. That way you'll see extra money you know, when you do get paid, okay? Or whenever you get paid. And like I said, I've been putting 10 $1 bills in this money bottle every week. And like I said, I started in January 2024, and this is what it has added up to. So, and when we're saving money at home, it's good to have money in the bank. Yes, it is. But I feel like it's good to have some money at home and I call that right now money. That way, if we have an emergency right now, we're able to get to it because you never know. The bank could be closed when you have an emergency. Uh, 
you can, uh, the bank sometimes, you can't get into your account. The network could be down. Like the other day, I went to the bank and the network was down. So I wasn't able to, you know, get any money or uh, what if the bank shuts down? You got some money to tap into, okay? So let's go ahead and add this to our money bottle. I'm gonna lay it down like this so you can see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, drop me a comment and let me know if you're doing this savings challenge or if you're not doing this one, let me know what you're doing. And also, I forgot to add, when we're saving money in our house, we want to keep it in a secure location that's waterproof, fireproof, and theftproof. And also, you know, there's nothing wrong with when you're saving money to keep it to yourself. Okay, you don't have to broadcast and tell everyone that you're saving money or how much you have. If people don't know you have money, they won't be asking for money. And this money is for emergencies, your emergencies. And if they don't have emergency, if someone comes and asks you for any money, I'm not telling you not to be stingy and not to help anybody and be selfish. But, you know, maybe you want to set up, have a separate savings or something like that to help somebody or whatever. But, you know, direct them to this channel and so they can learn how to start saving for emergencies also. Okay, so I need to record this. I record this every day. Just like I put money every day. And today, and yesterday was Sunday, and I usually do my change um, savings challenge, but I didn't get a chance to do it. I was going to try to do it today, but I'm not going to be able to. So, okay, we call this money bottle savings challenge. And we added $10. And the total amount is $250. It was $240, then $230. So you see how it's adding up. And if you can't do this every week, if you have to do it every two weeks, that's $21 bills every two weeks. Or if you have to do it every month, that's $41 bills. Because it's four weeks in a month. Sometimes that's five. But that you can do it that way also. But you know, as long as you do something and you'll be glad that you did so. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you got great value out of this video. I hope something was said to help you. Okay, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. You all have a wonderful day and happy savings.